Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Spigen ThinFit case for the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So this case on Amazon currently goes for $17.99, and as always, I will have everything linked down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Taking a look at the packaging, we can see that we do have the Spigen logo up top, and then it does say made for Google Pixel, and we do have a nice little image of what the case looks like, plus the device it's for, the case type, and then also down here, we do have the name or the coloring, so the metal slate. On the back, we don't really have anything other than a damaged package, but I'm sure the case is fine. Opening it up, all we have to do is pull this tab and take our case out of the pouch. Nothing else inside of here. Go ahead and plop this to the side, and let's go ahead and take a look at our case. Inside of this pouch resides our nice case, and if we do take it out, here is our thin fit case for the Pixel 8 Pro. So again, this is in the metal slate color. It does have a different color to it. It looks a little like a metal piece because of the name and the color. So they do have this different finish on top of it. It's not completely black, but again, it still does look like a darker color. So it is something that I would like. We do have a nice little logo down here. So very minimal branding, which is something Spigen always does really well. And it's something that I do praise when case companies don't really have their brand all over the case. If we do take a look at the inside, we do have something inside of here. So something you want, Spigen Inc. in Irvine, California, made in South Korea. Since this is a thin case, we do have all of these air pockets on the inside. So all these openings right here, they're actually to keep air inside. So when you do drop it, and again, since it is a thin case, this will absorb that extra shock since you can't have much protection with a case like this. But other than that, there really isn't much else inside of this case. Unfortunately, this is not from their MacFit series, so we don't have any MacFit compatibility or MagSafe compatibility with this case. It would have been nice to have MagSafe compatibility as I do have a lot of MagSafe products, but other than that, this should be a fine case. So placing our phone inside, we'll go ahead and start from where the buttons are, go ahead and push down, and boom, have everything in here, and voila. So here's our Spigen ThinFit case in the middle slate color on our Pixel 8 Pro. Again, right away we can see the camera lens protection that we have, which is really nice. We have a nice large lip, plus it does go above the lenses and also the temperature sensor, which I've actually never used other than when I first tried it out, and the flashlight right there. So again, if you do drop it on its back, then in most scenarios, that camera lens or the camera array should be fine. Again, since the lip is even all across, if we do go ahead and do a nice little rock test from the front of the display, we can see that doesn't really rock much other than when you really press down on the top and it does rock evenly even then. So it's a nice case and nice camera array as it doesn't really rock the phone. Again, that is gonna be the logo right there. On the right side, we do have our buttons. On the left side, we don't really have much else. Up top, we do have a nice little microphone cutout. And then on the bottom, we also do have our USB-C charging port cutout. Plus we do have a speaker go cutout. So as you can see from the side, this is a two part case that's been fused together. We do have a hard plastic on the outer layer, on the outer shell, and then on the sides we do have this soft touch material. So it is a silicon material, which is good to know. This is better for drop protection. And then this lining does go under this case as well. So if we do go ahead and take a look at the front display, we can see that we do have that nice large lip all across the display. So again, if you do drop it on its face, this phone should be fine. Taking a look at the front once again, we do have a nice large speaker wheel cutout right there, so we won't be losing out on any sound quality, which is always good to know. If we do go to move on to the side and actually do the most important test in my opinion, which is gonna be the button test, let's go ahead and start with our power button. So starting in three, two, one. Very nice and easy to click. And then moving on to our volume marker in three, two, one. Again, very nice and easy to click. So Spigen usually doesn't miss with this. They're always great with the buttons. They're always clicky. It's just nice. It has a nice feeling to it and it doesn't feel like you're adding that extra force to actually click the buttons. The case isn't actually that thin. So I thought it would be thinner, but it still feels a little thick and bulky compared to some other thin cases that I've tried. So I'm not sure. I think Spigen has to work on that a little more. They do have to make this case just a tad bit thinner as I've had a lot thinner cases. Before this was actually pretty thin, but now with the larger phones, they need to get it a little thinner as it does still add bulk to it. And I don't have really large hands, so it doesn't really work out with my hands that much. But again, overall, it's still a very nice and decent case. 
Might not be as thin as you might think it is, but it still does give you that extra drop protection and will still protect your phone from most drops and you will keep your phone scratch free. But you can also add a screen protector to the front as we do have a large lip and the screen protector will probably not extrude from the top of the display. So overall, that is gonna be it for this case. Again, it's a really nice case from Spigen. I really, really do like using Spigen's cases. They always make great cases sometimes, you know, sometimes they're not the best, but again, in most scenarios, they're very simple, clean, and will get the job of protecting your phone for a reasonable price. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will have everything linked down below. So see y'all in the next one.